Okay, so today in this video, we're gonna discuss and demonstrate a myofascial release technique for the chest wall, anterior chest wall, uh, more specifically for the pectoral muscles. And the technique is called a pectoral traction technique. Now this we could use for uh, any kind of myofascial restriction in the pectoral area, but as well it's useful to enhance uh, lymphatic drainage from the thoracic cage and uh, through the axilla. So any, uh, uh, any body parts that drain through the axilla. So I'd like to begin by positioning my patient supine and go ahead and line your back here. Great. And before I begin, I want to make sure that I'm clear with my patient about what I'm going to be doing, uh, where I'm going to be putting my hands uh, and make sure I get explicit permission from them before I begin. So uh, I'm going to be putting my hands, um, my fingers kind of in your armpits right behind uh, your chest muscles um, and there may be a little tenderness there you let me know if you feel any tenderness if you feel any kind of discomfort if you want me to stop you tell me immediately and i will stop okay, okay. Uh, is it all right if i begin mm -hmm. okay so now beginning the technique i'm going to stand at the head of the table now you have an option if you want to sit or if you want to stand for this example i've raised the table up uh, so that i can be at standing height now i'm going to make my initial contact um, actually using my hypothenar eminences on the shoulders, that's kind of just for me an initial safe contact uh, before I reach into their armpit, right? So I take my middle and ring fingers and I reach lateral to the pectoral muscles and inward, so medial, and then I take my thumbs and I come just inferior to the clavicles and I just make contact there on the chest wall, essentially grabbing or pinching the uh, pectoral muscles between my fingers. Now, these, this middle and ring finger are also going to glide medial along the chest wall, along the ribs, approaching where I would expect to find the uh, pectoralis minor muscle. Uh, another note, my index finger, because of the size of my hands, uh, I'm not able to really tuck it behind the pec, so I have it up and away from the patient, uh, from the patient for safety. So before I begin my traction, I wanna make sure that I create a wide stance with my legs and my feet um, so that I can uh, approach the table and support my hips. So here I'm gonna make my, con my contacts, move my hips anterior, lift my shoulders, lift my chest for good posture and good ergonomics. And then I'm gonna apply a traction anterior to the patient and then superior to the patient, which is gonna result in a cumulative force vector that is diagonal, um, up and away from the patient, which is uh, really as if my middle finger is coming uh, to, towards my face. And I would hold this position for about 60 to 90 seconds. And throughout that time, I'm gonna be waiting for any tissue texture change, softening of the musculature and the fascia, uh, any evidence of increased circulation with uh, uh, pulsations, temperature change, things like that. I might feel a little bit of a myofascial creep as uh, the fascia begins to change and unwind. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. And if I had completed that 60 seconds, uh, 60 to 90 seconds, uh, I would then return my patient back to neutral by reversing my force vectors. And I could uh, also apply that again if I needed to um, uh, to achieve a greater response. And then after I'm done, return them back to neutral. Fingers come out and hands away. And then we would uh, reevaluate our, patient, uh, our patient's chest wall in the same way that we did initially.